Good morning, good morning, good morning. I'm Flora Sage, your life coach, to help you create a life that you're super excited about. So today, I wanna share with you a little bit about a 10-day declutter challenge that we have going on this month in the One Degree Shift Tribe, as well as talk with you a little bit more about the topic that we had last week, which was, what vacation can teach you about your life. Now, I got so many emails from that. It was, it's, it's very interesting because half of you guys who emailed me about this video were in the camp of, I never take vacations, or I've never had a vacation, or I haven't had a vacation in 10, 15, 20 years. Then I had another group of you guys say, oh my gosh, yes, this is so true, this is crazy. Like, this so resonated with me because you've recognized that kind of, dread that comes when you come back from vacation and that dread indicates those little things that need to be addressed. So I'm going to share with you kind of my thoughts about this. So if you're a part of the people who have never really taken vacation or you don't take vacations, I would highly recommend that you do so even if it's a one day staycation. So if you work Monday through Friday, pick either Saturday or Sunday and pretend that you're on vacation. So what do I mean by that? Uh, wake up when you want and give yourself permission to go do some type of sightseeing or local touristy something something, whether it's going on a hike or just going to the pier or going up to the mountains or whatever it is, but give yourself permission to just kind of pretend like you're on vacation. You know, have a Mai Tai in the afternoon, whatever it is. <laughs> and truly unplug from social media, unplug from all the day-to-day -day things, and then when you come back in the evening, and I would literally recommend like leaving the premises. You can even go to you know, some hotels. Um, you can you know, just like rent a hotel room and just pretend that you're on vacation for the weekend or just for the day, but some hotels, you can use their rooftop bar. Some of them you can use the rooftop or their, um, it doesn't necessarily have to be on the roof, but their, um, their pool or whatever it is, their amenities. Uh, sometimes not, it just depends on where you're at. But getting off the premises and giving yourself permission to get outside of the norm is so huge. Because like I said, you can literally disconnect from your everyday life. Then when you go back to your home, you'll start to see those things that you're excited about seeing and then those things that you're kind of are dreading that you're just like, oh my gosh, and not even necessarily dread, but your energy drops. Now, one of the things that we've been working on for the entire month of March is we've been looking at picking up that virtual rug and dealing with those little tiny stressors and even sometimes the big stressors that are going on in your life that because you're just so busy every day, you're doing, 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 and then some random thing comes in and you're like, oh, I just can't even right now. So you just you know push it aside for later. So typically when you come back from vacation, all those little things that you've been pushing aside are right there saying, hello, you still need to deal with me. You still need to like deal with this. It can be overwhelming. And so one of the easiest ways to start clearing with this, or you know, basically clearing this, is to recognize what's your number one stressor right now. Now I'm not gonna go through that whole free class. I did that earlier in the month. Um, if you didn't watch that video, jump to my other videos, find that video, watch it. But find your number one stressor and start dealing with it and start dealing with it. Now, again, all month long we've been dealing with this and one of the things that I keep hearing you say is that there's so much clutter. There's clutter in your inbox, there's clutter in your social media feeds. Um, so there's not just the digital, the digital clutter, <laughs> but there's also the environmental clutter. There's the mental and the spiritual clutter. I talk all about this in my One Degree Shift book about the five different types of clutter. And so inside the One Degree Shift Tribe this month, we're doing a 10-day declutter challenge starting April 12th. So if you feel like you really want some accountability, you really want to declutter your physical space, which will help you declutter the mental stuff, the spiritual stuff, the emotional stuff, I would invite you to join us in the challenge. So all you have to do to, to join us in the challenge is click link number one or link number two 
in the description or the comments of this video. Link number one is for the regular enrollment for the $97 to join us for this 10 day declutter challenge. And you're also gonna get group coaching, you're gonna get a planning party, you're gonna get all kinds of fun stuff, plus access to the One Degree Shift Tribe member portal, our Facebook group, it's gonna be epic. And then link number two, if you want to go the VIP route, uh, then you're gonna get access to all of the above plus the VIP lounge and a 90 minute hot seat coaching, which is gonna be epic, because I'm gonna help you not only declutter your space, but also declutter what's going on emotionally, spiritually, and mentally. So join us for the 10 day declutter challenge that starts April 12th. Click link number one to join as a regular member and click link number two to join as a VIP. I'm so looking forward to seeing you inside of the One Degree Shift Tribe and to join us for this 10 day declutter challenge. Woohoo! <laughs> I hope this serves you today. I will see you inside the membership. Bye.